You learn to you a life transforming experience as Pastor Prince Abbott brings you God's word with deep insights and power. God bless you. Hey, I don't, I don't know if you're getting this. Hey, this food is full though. You know, we are finished eating this, Gary. Are you sure we can eat okwa? I first, you know, there's a level of, uh, <laughs> let's move this place. Just 10 minutes. Thank you. Pete. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Ekepotaka mora katwa me pete kito sita ya. Let's read it. Can you read someone read? Hebrews chapter eleven verse one. Just give me ten fifteen minutes. You learn something now. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Okay, all right. Hebrews eleven verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Amen. So faith, definition of faith. Faith, you know, people say faith was, and faith was, and then the faith is a risk, and then you control faith in the faith arena, and the faith, people are confused. Read verse 6 of that Hebrews 11, so you understand one thing. I want to establish something, then I will show you something now. It will not be, it will not be, yeah. may God open our eyes to understand something, you know, I don't know. But it's not a fool or whatever, there's something in what us to do. Verse 6. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to put him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So without faith, you cannot please God. It's impossible to please God. So, faith is important. What we are doing this series in church in the month of March is doing the impossible. That's our series this month. Doing the impossible. It is faith that does the impossible. It's not you. You can't do the impossible. You can do the possible only. When it gets to the end of your road or your rope, you need faith to do the impossible. So faith is a substance Faith is substance. Faith is evidence. Faith is spiritual. So when you say substance, when you say evidence, it's not physical evidence. It's spiritual evidence. But these evidences or substances must be tangibilized. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Let me explain what I mean. Come. You know, man is a spirit. We live in this physical body. And we have these five senses and other senses. Sense of sight. That's what we get information that defeats us. What you see, you believe. Sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of hearing, sense of touch. It feeds us. You see, I look at your bank account and it's 2K. You have to do a project of 200 million. You say you cannot do it. So why can't you do it? Your eyes just told you a fact. You have 2K in your account. So you can never do that project or they pay 30k every month. You can never do a project of 200 million. You see? So life levels you. You can't play big in life if you don't play fit. So stand here. Stay there. Come. Don't look back. Stand behind him. Don't look back. Who's behind you? Don't look back. Who's behind you? Who? Who's Pascal? Okay, it's not Pascal. You see what he's doing? You know, he's doing assumption, not faith. And he will do it, do it, do it. He said, I have 
faith is not working, faith always works. If it's not working, it's not faith. Just know if it's not working, it's not faith. If it's working, then it's, it's faith. It's presumption. You are assuming. You need a guesswork. Faith must be substantiated, substantiated. For him to know who is behind him, there's an organ that does that job. It's the organ of his eyes. He must use his eyes to substantiate the person. Or if I ask him to speak now and he has a record in his brain of his voice, he can use his ear to substantiate who the person is. Use your eyes to substantiate and make tangible colors. So that's why he says one is blue, this one is yellow. Your ear organ cannot substantiate color. That is not what it's designed for. Don't ever try to use your ear to substantiate color. It will not work. That's not his, side, his job. His job is to substantiate sound. Your eyes, if you are deaf and they are playing drums here and you are watching, your eyes cannot hear it. It's not his job. So your eyes cannot substantiate sound. Then they are cooking something nice around here. Your nose must substantiate, is the, what, the organ that you use to substantiate the aroma of what you're cooking. Your mouth is what you use to substantiate taste. Watch now. Let's work on the sense of touch. Do like this to him. On your shoulder. Somebody touched you. How do you know? Sense of touch. Not sense of sight. Not, not perceiving. Not hearing. Fear. He felt it. Inside that touch is an instruction. What kind of touch was that? It was a tap. He will touch him again now. Get the mic to him if you get the mic to him. Watch now. He's, he's not, it's not his eyes. His sense of touch will interpret everything that happens to him. That's, that's what he does. See what he do now. Finger. Did he tap you? No, sir. Everything you substantiate has an instruction. What did he do? Pinched me. He pinched you. He touched him, but it was a pinch. He touched him first, and it was a tap. Your sense of feeling substantiates that and interprets the instruction. It's not your eyes. It's not your ear. It's not your nose. That's not the organ. So, if it comes to issue of faith, you don't use your eyes to substantiate faith. You don't use your nose. You don't use your ear. There's an organ that substantiates faith. So, no matter what you see in your account, that is not what you use to substantiate faith. Some people use their minds. Okay. If I say one plus one is what? One plus one is what? One plus one is what? Two, sir. What did he use to substantiate what I just said? Eh? He used his mind to substantiate this information with the help of his ear. He heard this I said. Then his ear did not calculate it. His mind calculated it. So his mind is the organ that substantiates information. Like words that processes it. Sometimes we tend to try to process some information from God with our mind. That's not the organ that produces faith. The organ that produces faith is your human spirit. What he substantiates is the word of God. You have to now know the process of substantiating. I, you see, you cannot finish this thing. It's not a night. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not this night. I, hey. Faith is a substance. Am I correct? So it's tangible. Evidence. Of what? Not. Evidence of what? 
Faith is substance of things you hope for. So for you to get things, what you hope for is a dream. What you hope for is a desire. There's something you want to do. Pastor Prince wants to build this place. That's the hope. He wants to package this place, put the door, put the AC. That's hope. It's in the future. But to get that, those ACs, get the roof, faith must bring it to, from whatever it is to, to tangibility for it to come to pass. So what faith does is faith looks for hope to bring to pass. Faith must have a target. So somebody tells me I have faith. I ask him, what are you looking for? He said, I don't know. Okay, pastor, pray for me, pray for me. Okay, kneel down. What do I pray for? Anything, anything. There's no way it will not work. Your faith will not work for him. What, what, what is anything? He must hope something. Your faith is meant to grab something. It's a target. He must give you a target. What is the prayer point? So you can use your faith to get it. Okay, want to get a job. What kind of job? Pastor, any kind of job. It's not, you don't know what you're saying. Unless I, I don't say the job, then it depends on your faith. Okay, say, Lord, make him a shoemaker. Make him one thing, a barrel pusher. Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody says he has faith, but I can't see his dream. He's fake. Somebody says he has hope, a dream, but I ask him, what are you standing on? Substantiating, nothing. Somebody tells me, I'm believing God, I'm believing God, I'm believing God. If you are believing God, I want to see your action. Faith. <laughs> if you have faith, you are doing something. You can't say you are believing God. I have faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But for, for faith to produce, it must be deployed. There must be an action of deployment. There must be something. You can't say I'm believing God, I'm believing God, I believe God, and then you are believing God. That is, is believing God. You cannot be believing God. You are, what are you doing about it? Either you are saying something about it or you are doing something about it. Your action, show me, says straight without works is dead. You know, we are, you are still confused because of how you know faith is. What is faith? Faith is the child of God's word. Faith comes by what? The word. So when they say faith, faith comes by the word. When you substantiate the word of God, faith comes. But faith must be sent. Faith is sent through speaking and through obedience. Like if you obey the word. When they say the just shall walk by faith, it means that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God's mouth. That is walking by faith. When you say you're walking by faith, you're walking by what God has said. Okay. People come, like I was saying, Pastor Prince. Thank you, sir. Thank you. See, counseling. Husband, wife. They come to me. We're having problems. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. First question I ask. Do you want this marriage to work? Woman. Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. If I hear, no, sir, no, sir. Or no, sir, yes, sir. I have to go back. There's work to do. Do you want this marriage to work? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they don't know how to make it work. Because marriage is by faith. Listen to me carefully. You will understand what it is. You understand what it is now. And I'm going to say one thing when I, if I drop this mic. You will understand where I'm going to. Because if you don't go into that practice, forget it. You live in assumption and presumption. There's no faith. You're not working by faith anything. Faith does not come by watching Telemundo or watching my you and the source Asna. Yes, yes, okay. I like to ask another question so it could make my work easy. Uh, why, woman, do you still love him? Hmm. Pastor, I don't know. Okay. Do you still love her? Pastor, I love her. I still love her. But she's stubborn. She, ah, you are a wicked man. You are stubborn. Yeah, no problem. Faith is a substance of things hopeful. First thing I must establish with them, they must show me, I will help them to show me their hope. When they say they want the marriage to work, it means they have a picture of the kind of marriage they want. That is a desire, that's hope. Then I can show them how to get faith to substantiate it. As simple as that. So they tell me I want to want it to work. I say, okay, 
We want to see tomorrow by four. Sit down with yourselves. Oh yeah, Oga, okay. woman, ask, tell him. Please, honey, tell me everything that I'm doing that I don't like. And you, you write it down. Why? You will tell you things, oh. Right, right. Let him be talking. Even if he say, ah, you okay. Why are you saying that? You are very self. That's why he's saying that. No, that's how he's feeling. He's telling you what he doesn't like. You better write it down and hold it. Oh yeah, one, my wife, tell me everything I'm doing you don't like. She will tell you. Write it down. After. Tell me the kind of marriage you want us to have. She will write. The man will write. You combine it. Come again by four with these things. I've seen what you don't like. I've seen your hope or desire. Then I can show you faith to substantiate it. I cannot cancel you if you don't have hope. I must get you to have hope first because there's no matter what I say to you, you can, you will not do it because I'm going to tell you things to do, actions to obey, and I will get saved from the word of God. Because from the word of God, if I say faith for marriage now, for example, I want to handle it, I go to Ephesians chapter five. Husband, love your wife. That is the word of God. Substantiating it and applying it is working by faith. Ah, you didn't get what I said. People think that faith is one big thing because we use faith to buy house, buy car. Faith is by for living. You your relationship, my relationship with you is by faith. It's by faith. It's based on what the word of God has said. I'm obeying. That is what is faith. I get the word of God concerning the relationship I have with Pastor Prince in every aspect. I substantiate it, then I begin to act on it. That is working by faith. Not by sight. If it's by sight, there are some things I will have seen, I will say, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? So it's by faith. It's by working according to the word of God. So the husband is loving the wife. How? Just as Christ loved the church. Yeah, I asked one couple. I say, I say, okay. Um, see, have you seen before? You should have born again. Yes. You love God. You've seen before. Yes. How many times? Ha, they pass many times so. Did you pray to God about it? Forgive you. Yes. Did he forgive you? Yes. But the Bible says you should love your wife the way Christ loved the church. So, whatever she does, you have to forgive her. You see? If he obeys that, that is loving the wife. He is walking by faith based on marriage. When you walk by faith, the word of God now you have obeyed is what goes into your marriage to transform it. It's not you that transforms your marriage. My work cannot come back void. It must accomplish what he has said. I watch over my word. Whether you speak it or you act on it. And the Lord was with them. Because he asked them to go and preach. Confirming what they were preaching. If they did not preach, there was no confirmation. It's not that they were not the ones healing the sick. It was the word that they obeyed. Then God went and did his own part. So you obey that instruction from the word based on marriage. God comes and how he will change it, you will not know. He's his job. It's not your business. It's her disability. We come to that marriage and bring you to change it. Wives, submit to your husbands. It didn't say, submit to your husband if he, do, he loves you. Don't submit he does not love you. No, your husband is submit to your husbands. So you have to start working on yourself, trying to substantiate, imbibe the attitude of submission with a quiet and mixed spirit in your house. Now, let me even show you something. For wives, for example, you know your husband is a, uh, he drinks, he does whatever, you have been preaching, it's not working. He said, do not use words and be preaching to him. He said, through your chest conversation, your lifestyle, he will see the godliness in your life, then he will embrace the gospel or he will change. So you don't preach to your husband when he's not hearing. Change your attitude. Come back on time and cook the food. Keep the house clean. Wake up early. Make sure everything is fine. He wants pan the yam every 5 p.m. or every 6 p.m. every day. And you have to be in church every, by that time every day. Go to, go online and Google this flask that you can plug with power bank to make food warm. Pound the yam in the morning by 6 a.m. Put in the food flask with the soup. Plug the power bank. It will be warm till evening. He said, don't you know I have to be in church? I have to be in church. And you expect him to come to that church. You are not changing now. He cannot come there. 
So it's your lifestyle that will tell me, wow, you have changed. When you change your lifestyle, your husband will change. It's the word of God, it cannot fail. Are you getting what I'm saying? The word cannot fail, God cannot lie. You change him by your lifestyle. He will say, wow, I think he has changed. Something is going on in that church. Let's go. There's one guy, I can tell you this. There's one guy. Oh, wahala. Wahala, wahala. I said, the guy came to me and said, woman, woman I respected. You know, the first people. He said, pastor, I, I pray for me. I want to go abroad. I said, okay. To do what? I just want to locate. Fine. Your husband does, you know. He knows he's supposed to, but I don't, you know, he doesn't mind. I said, oh, what's the problem? I don't know what you're saying. He said, no, we're having problems for eight years of marriage, problems here, 10 years of marriage, but eight years of problems, whatever, whatever, this one, this one, this one. I said, what? I said, Pastor, in fact, I'm tired. I don't want to take any. Husband doesn't come to church. I just saw the, her character. That was the problem. I said, two of you come meet me in church in my office on Tuesday, 2 p.m. I came after Pastor Smith. I walked to my office. Behold, the husband was there. The man, woman was there. They entered my office. I began to ask questions. Ah, the woman at Wahala. It was the woman that was making the husband come to church. Man, woman, man drinks, does all kinds of things. In fact, the man was telling me that the house is so hot. He wants to go to his village and stay for two weeks and, and rest. When a man talks like that, you know there's something. He's going to, he says, I want to leave my house first. This woman, they give me stress. I tried, tried. After everything, I got the guy saved. A week after, something happened. This one is not the woman that changed the man. It's now the act of love that never fails. The woman called me. My husband is in pains. His legs, pains, whatever, pains. I knew that was the key. I called the head of the group that he should be if he were in church. The, the wife is in the female group. I said, Oduche, you see this woman, you know her, you know her case. The husband is now sick. She just told me now that they don't have money to do x-ray and they are having pains for almost one week. Oh yeah. If I go in now, I may not have time. Oh yeah, let your believer circle go in. So they went, called the man, went to his house, all of them. Just to recover the man. You know they come to church. Took it to hospital. Paid for his x-ray. Did his x-ray. Went to, there are doctors there now. They could open some doors in some whatever. They give him drugs, whatever. He was fine. Last two Sundays, I saw the man in church. Just the act of love breaks a man's heart. It's God that breaks for to do it. I see the woman as this happy. She's smiling, whatever. I say now is the time to now tell you guys what to do. Because the man is now in church. He's now born again. He's now hearing the word. What happened? Just the act, an act of love. See, it's not just the charging part that is faith. There's a lifestyle of faith. Just obeying what the word has said. Faith for finance. Jesus was tempted. Said and told him, bow down before me and worship me. This word I've given, I've been given to me. So he was in charge. And God, Jesus not, whatever. He rebuked him and all that. Jesus went and died and took away everything from him. And he turned it back to man. Listen to me carefully. Satan is feeding on our ignorance. Come on. Hold this chair. This was Satan's heritage. Sorry. Adam, this Adam heritage. Earth. Because he sinned. Satan took it. All this money that they have, that they are, uh, uh, what's it called? Spraying in weddings, throwing for one night while doing Is your money? They don't protest your money. It's your money you have not claimed. It's the same money. You won't claim money and then they'll print money. You claim money and the money will move. So unbelievers are using the money for the kingdom because the kingdom has not claimed back what belongs to them. The world system, they are buying cars, building estates with the money that should be used to build churches because of not claiming back. Because Satan is giving to his boys. It's the same money. So God, Jesus took it away from Satan. Pastor, come and give it back to man. But now the problem is that don't touch it. He does not know. So he has not claimed it. So he cannot, he has not touched it. So what Satan does, he looks, he has not, he will take the thing and be using it. And you are saying you don't have money. 
If you tell him stop, he will drop it. He doesn't tell him stop, he will hold it. He knows that if you tell him stop, he knows, God knows, angels know, Jesus knows that if you tell him stop, he will stop. But he will make you not to tell him stop. That if you tell him stop, he will not walk. So don't tell him stop. So he will use your money. Eh? He told me that it's about nine million he needs to rule this place. He will rule this place in 30 days. Watch. We're going to do it here now. This money is available. Something is on somebody spending this money. That thing will leave that person. And that thing will come up with that person. The person will, because when you call for money, how God will bring it is no more your business. He said, I'm calling for, but I don't have a, a job. He can bring it through favor. Ah, they were doing a single program in church, whatever. The guy was complaining that this people don't bring money, they don't bring money, they don't bring money, they don't bring money. Man, I need the money. I call it in, call it in, call it in, call it in. One of the singles that gave 10,000. Send me 600,000. I didn't, I didn't ask her for money. She came and said, sir, I feel like giving you a sacrifice. Can I have your number? I look at the girl. Uh, uh, give him my number. Give her my number. I went to. Next day, I saw 600k. Some of that, they were complaining that they will not bring money. Money is gotten by supernatural means. That is where you take care of this. You can work as much as you can. If they seize, they've seized it. It could come through contracts. Someone might come and say, ah, you know, it could come through a favor or through a vision or whatever. Say, ah, I saw you, God spoke to me to come and give, say, ask you how much is remaining for this thing. How God will do it is no more your business. Your business is to take care of the forces that are willing and holding your finance. This is what we do in Dominion City. See, we start project with nothing in account. No, 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 nobody should deceive you. Nobody should deceive you. It's not nothing. Kakam, brother, nothing. That Anamco we bought, we raised one billion in six weeks. Nothing in the account. The, the, uh, the, the, the Abuja owned again, almost one billion within three weeks. The first one, Ikeja, um, um, what, no Ikeja. What was it? Ikeja was about, about, uh, one month. The other one was uh, Aja, Leki was three months. That was the first one we did. That one was about one point, almost two billion. From zero cash, zero. If you say what we we'll call it for, the money in the account, the money in the account is for other things. And no pastor, of course, please pastor, he asked me that. We'll call. We need this one, 100 million, 100 million, 100 million. As you're talking, you, you not in your head. You check your account, you don't have up to 100k. But the money is available. Sir. Some people in this town give their girlfriends one, 18 year old girl, 20 million to just spend for one weekend in this city. Just take this money, go and spend. Take this $25,000, take this uh, $50,000. Just travel, go to Dubai, whatever. Wait for me in Dubai. When you finish, tell me where I'm coming the next week. Just enjoy yourself. It's normal. Let's roof this place in 30 days. By the supernatural hand of God. That's it. How he will do it, we don't know. But we know that something is holding the money from coming. That amount. So we're going to tear that guy's hand from that finance. We're going to summon, say, we shall have whatsoever we said. This roof, this building is roofed. We call this building roofed. We call the AC standing, paid for in full. We call the rock in this place, the altar, all the sound paid for in full. That's how we all demand. We are not begging to whatever. It is what, if you go to your account in the bank to withdraw money, you put in your check, you withdraw your money. You go there and say, eh, I will withdraw my money in Jesus' name. Your money is there. Put your check in. That's what we do. You put your check in, you withdraw the money. Every force of darkness in this city, Outside this city, in southeast, wherever it is, all over this world, wherever it is, this is the work of God. Am I correct? It's not the work of man. The work of God. The work of God. Say, Father, thank you for every single thing that we lost through Adam. Jesus restored. Every finance 
every human resource, every material resource, every wisdom resource has been recovered. They belong to us. So this night, we are making a demand on what belongs to us. We are not begging for it. We project ourselves to a place of authority where we belong at the right hand of God. And we look over the whole earth. And the resource over the whole earth. We speak to the east. We speak to the west. We speak to the south. We speak to the north. And the angels and the winds and man those cardinal points. We command you now. All the resources we need. Let them come forth. How much do we need? Sound everything. Kadu lipa letenda kia. Let's cash it now. You cash it. If you coming, I'm coming. No slowing down of any building. Abundance at every point in time. Take it to five hundred million. Abundance. You know, it's faith by faith. Oh, can we carry that? Can you carry it? Can you carry it? Is settled. The faith for one million is the faith of five hundred million. It's just a number. It's one calling. It's one check, not two checks. It's one check you write one million on. The same check write one hundred thousand. It will stay cash. Are you know what I'm saying? Say, Father, we take authority now over our resources. We claim five hundred million to complete your house now. We claim it. I say we claim it. We claim it now. In the name of Jesus. Satan. Take your hand off. We bind you now. We break your hand. Off this money. Take your hand off now. Angels. Go forth. Cause it to come to pass. Channels. Open. Open. Open, 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 open. In the name of Jesus, let contrast comfort, let favors comfort, let peace is comfort, let open doors open right now. Let the words will speak. Go round the globe, round the earth, round and round. Round and round until it takes hold of the earth. We call for the Venus best. We call for Cyruses. We command them to comfort. 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 Money comes to us now. Comes to us now. We call it forth. Let the earth hear our voice. Let the heavens hear our voice. We fast in our walls into the moon. We fast in our walls to the atmosphere. Over a point in states. Over southeast. Over Nigeria. Over Africa. In the internet was kappa. Every covering cast. Covering these projects. Let it be done to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Let the light of God shine. Let the whole world see what God is doing here. In the name of Jesus, let every obscurity go. Let it go. Let it go. In the name of Jesus, we stand on the altar of priesting hills and we command angels to go of this ministry. We combine with the angels, as the racial angels of communal city. Let them go forth. Let them go forth. Let them go forth. Let them go forth. Let them cause this one to come. Let it come. 
Let the roofs come. Let everything to cover this place come. Let the roofs come. Let the stage come forth. Let the speakers come forth. The drums, the mics, the keyboards. Let the cover, the chairs, the AC, the generators. Hey, with their backups. Let the comfort. Let the buses comfort. Let the cars comfort. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the bagaratwa. Let the patandaratwa. Ekaparakwata. Epanetoria. Eskapatwarapa. Impanesha. Impanesha. Mea canoas. Hele pakwaya. Ekaparatwa. Oh, we give you praise. Mesqua. From the east is coming. From the west is coming. The wind of God is blowing. The wind of abundance is blowing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mias Paratwa is coming in millions. In tens of millions. In twenties of tens of millions. In twenties of hundreds of millions. Hey, 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 hey. It won't just be 500 million. It will get to a billion. Hey. We command the pillow flow. 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 We command it to come. Come now. Come now. Come now. Come now. Come. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Kabashwa. Within the next three months. The money you will get in this church, people will come from nowhere, walk in, drop cash and go. Drop 10 million, 20 million and go. You will see it with the two eyes. This will be the fastest work ever. Fastest work ever. Agents have gone. Don't ever say there's no money. When you want to buy something, say money, come at now, now, 500 million comet. Now, and it is coming. Write it down. 10 million has come. 490 remaining. Thank you, Jesus. Money comet. I believe I receive it. Angels are walking. I see them coming. Today, money comet. Hey, let the morning bring the money. Let the night work for us. Let the afternoon work for us. Let the sun work for us. Let the womb work for us. Let the earth work. Accustrate the steps. The steps. The steps of the helpers. The steps of the helpers. Hey, kaprakoto sikata. The steps of the helpers. Loaded helpers. Loaded helpers. Hey, kaprado tuaha. Mamba. Let Pharaoh come with his dream. Let the solution come. Let Pharaoh come with his dream. Let Pharaoh come with his dream. Let Pharaoh come with his dream. We come for Pharaohs with their problems. Because the solution is in the house. We come for Pharaohs with their dreams. We come for Nebuchadnezzar with their dreams. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be contact, orchestration, networking, networking, divine networking, business networks, favor networks. Let the angels fasting some events in the minds of people. Let them be spoken to in the dreams. Numbers, phone numbers in the dreams. Faces of the pastor and this project in the dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We'll give you praise. He said, If you say to this mountain, be that removed, be that cast into the sea, but will not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that whatsoever you said shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you said. With God, with man, it's not possible. But with God, this is possible. The word of God does not come by void. When you speak the word, inside the word, sometimes there's no direction. Sometimes there's direction. If God puts it in your mind, act on it. I was at an airport. We went for information conference. Friday. We need PMP. And somebody gave us this year. We asked him, we have, money we have is for the program. We'll pay you on that Friday. We'll give time for that Friday. I was at the airport coming back. I asked my admin, have you paid this man? He said, no. I said, Lord, what do we do? And I called it forth. It was around 
12 1. He gave me a name. He said, Call this person. Tell him to send you 3 million. I picked my phone. I said, Hello. Send me 3 million. He said, Pastor, send account. In the less than one hour or so, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, complete 3 million. We sent to the desert guy. Sometimes they divine direction to, for that contact. Sometimes the contact will meet you. God told Elijah, go to Zarephath. I've commanded a widow woman to feed you. So he went by divine counsel and told the woman, feed me. Another man near the house, Elisha. God did not tell him to tell anybody. But God spoke to the woman of Shunem. He will come and if we don't go. One day, God put in his head, I perceive that Preston Hills needs 500 million to build this. Husband, let's come to Preston Hills and build this for them. And they build a house. It was God that spoke. He perceived. Either God will speak to a man to speak to somebody or to speak to you to speak to somebody or God will speak to somebody to come and meet you. There is no other way to happen. You shall have whatsoever you said. As it's coming, fast, 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 fast. Pia, 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 pia. They say what is going on. News are going out. News, 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 news. On Sunday, you see strange songs that left. They were back. Strange people that were wondering. They'll be here. A new church has arrived. Get radio. The city will hear your voice. Government officials will come to look for you. And all of you that have paid the price, get ready. God is about to shoot you up to heights you have never seen before. In Jesus' name. that my new song, that song I wrote is you are playing it already so we bow down help me back up and worship Yahweh can you help me let's just worship him in one minute and then we just take our first and so we bow down help me and worship Help me with the mics, my friend. So we bow down, say, so we bow down and worship Yahweh. Can you do it just two more times as we worship Him? So we bow down, so we bow down and worship Yahweh. So we bow down, so we bow down and worship Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. One more time for the last time. So we bow down, say, so we bow down and worship and worship Yahweh. Angels are on the move already. Homes are being combed tonight. Homes are being combed. 
Homes are being combed. Homes are being combed. Places you never even thought that these things will come from. Places you never thought. Places you never thought. Places you never even dreamt. Suddenly everything has just changed. Everything in it twinkle of an eye. Everything, 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 everything. Stay connected. Something is about to happen. I don't know what I should be saying thank you, sir, to you. I don't know how to uh, show the gratitude. But something apostolic happened here tonight. Tuesday till now. Satan can't survive this one. Doesn't matter what that spirit says is called. Doesn't matter how stubborn he is. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Sal. I don't know which one to thank you for. Is it for the cell? <laughs> the DPS secret. Maybe you guys don't know there's no space here already. A boy state, get ready. I, I saw Pastor David in Enugu saying something during PRP. He said, God has given you guys a place now. You can run in here. Pray to God and he will hear you. He say, you are no longer orphans. Stop running around and looking for whatever anyway. He say, see what it is. I don't care who you are. I don't care. <laughs> I watched that and I kept watching it. I kept watching it. I can say it boldly. The boy is dead. You know, you said something. He said, God positioned you here at the mouth of the city. And there was something you said while you were speaking. I wrote it down in my diary clearly on Tuesday. You said, what God is going to be doing with ministries in this city and doing with this land, see where he's cooking it already. I took that word serious. Get ready. Something's about to happen. These declarations and this proclamations and these prophecies you're hearing, they're not just good talks. They are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. Get ready. Every one of you who came for this meeting, God is going to use you as tools. He's going to use you as implements and equipment to get this city, to get this whole city cannot survive what is about to happen. I see traffics everywhere already. There's no space here. I don't know if you understand what he was teaching on faith. This is not going to happen by sight. Step out now. Step out now. Start planting the cells. Start planting the campus fellowship. Start planting it everywhere. In your houses. Step out now. God is already packing you up. There are forces you can't see that are already standing behind you. And they are ready to do as you do. They will do nothing except you do something. Lift up your hands everywhere. Now that grace, I'm joining my faith with my brothers here. And I release that patriarchal blessing, that grace, that, that grace that causes you to do exploits. This is the last meeting, the last night of this meeting. On Sunday, we are coming to close with some prophetic whatever and all that with apostle. But this night, I want to give you something just like my brother already did. I'm giving you something a father gives his children. A weapon. From today. It doesn't matter. What excuse you have. God took a man called Gideon and he did with him great things. He was doubting his ability. Now there are some of you here who can't, who don't believe what God can do with you. Hear you the word of the Lord right now. God is saying to tell you, he has made you a God to that your streets. He has made you a God to that your environment. He has made you a God in that your office. From today, as you go out and open your mouth and declare, as you go out 
and speak these things that you have heard to other people. You're going to see results accompanying you. Your MND sound better. I said you're going to see results accompanying you. Before this year is over, some of you are going to be coming back with testimonies. The testimonies will not just be testimonies of cars and favor and things God did for you and money. Part of the testimony will be testimony of souls, cells, souls that have been won, souls that have been discipled. And it does not matter what is standing on your way. It doesn't matter what has been standing on your way. As you obey, nothing will be able to stop you again. I said nothing will be able to stop you again. I don't know who is hungry, but I'm looking for hungry people here right now. Because God wants to talk. I said nothing will be able to stop you again. Nothing will be able to stop you again. The same way God raised the pastor of banners, the PCJs, the Reverend Ben. The same way he raised the pastor Shalom's, the same way he raised the pastor Nobs, where are they right now? Something's about to fall on you. Wherever you are, and God wants to use you right now, get ready. He's gonna come on you where you are now. Some of you will begin to feel him like shivers in your spine. And that's God trying to shake something, shake something, shake something inside of you. Turn you into a mighty man that he will use to do exploit in this age. If you are a leader, you are a pastor, come here. A new country is about to come on you. Just come. Run, my friend. You have no time. Bring this one here. Bring this one. It's time for you to move into the next phase of your mandate and your ministry. It's now time. That same thing God did with Reverend Oyex and the Shalom's bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. Now, multitudes of women, multitudes of ladies, 1,000, minimum of 1,000 ladies that will come out of you. Hey! Out of this palace, let it flow. Okay, come here. There's something God wants to do with you, but I'm going to tell you something that will help you. You see this issue of association and all that, associated with people who would take you astray, that's what God is telling me to tell you to be mindful of. And you see relating closely with the other set of people. I don't, I don't want to use specific language. If the devil wants to get you, that's what he's going to use. He's a living witness. He knows men that were rising out of this place. is opposite sex he used. I don't know I'm telling you this, but be wary and be mindful. You are a great man rising here. While he was preaching, I was seeing you. While he was speaking, I was seeing you. If you would keep yourself clean, avoid anything that will contaminate you, you're going to see how far you would go. Nations. Now, Lord, your grace of sanctification and your grace of enablement. Hey! Come. Come. You, you, you. Goodness. Come, 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 come. You are not just a career woman. You are also a preacher of the gospel. Now, Lord. And also a financier of the kingdom. Now, that grace. That grace. That grace. Where is Cynthia? Bring her here. Where is she? She's run up and down. Okay, come here. Every one of you, we are going to hold you accountable. Sales starting tonight. TBS starting tonight. Some of you are dangerous. You have overfed and overfed. It's now time to go and discharge it. Are you ready for it? I'm not going to touch you. Something's going to touch you. Are you ready for it right now? Right now, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Clean up everything that needs to be cleaned up. Release that giant inside to emerge. Release that giant inside to emerge. Madam, you come. Hey, come. You want to go find life? Avoid men. You want to go find life? Stay under women that will develop you. Don't call any man here your mentor. I don't want to hear that. That uh, I'm under this man. He's my HOD. He's my whatever. He's leading me. He's giving me instruction. That's the fastest way to die. Everything God wants to do, you will end 
just like that. Are you ready? He wants to use it to affect a lot of young girls. I see teenagers, 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 teenagers everywhere, young, young girls. If you would yield yourself to God and consecrate yourself totally to his service, then you will see that this beauty he gave you is an asset. You will use it to arrest many young ladies like you. Holy Spirit, come and touch at all. Let the oil inside begin to flow to her generation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord, for completing the house. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. We give you praise. We believe without doubt in our hearts. It is done already. It is done already. It is done already. It is done already. <laughs> Please let's give God a big hand of praise and let's thank Pastor Abana for amazing, 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 amazing word. Amazing word. Thank you, sir. Amazing word. And let's appreciate Pastor Chai for being here too. Thank you, sir. We are grateful. Your humility is out of the world. Thank you, sir. Thank you for what you've done. And this is how we close tonight. Tomorrow, work starts. We are going to be taking reports every day. Every blessed day. I will see how far. We believe you've been transformed by the wonders of God's word. For additional information about us, you can visit our website at www.princetonhills.org. You can also send us a mail at info at princetonhills.org. Or call 070-331-66762 or 081-31-555-747. Princeton Hills Ministries, Raising Global Global Leaders. Leaders.